you could find good, you know, advisors or I'm going to generalize this too as whether it be a financial advisor, um, as a, like a, an insurance agent, or, I mean, you, you could plug and play a lot of titles. You can really find some good ones pretty much anywhere. Um, I think you'll probably find a lot of really successful ones though. The, the kind of advisor that you want, and I'll explain that in a second, but you can find a lot of really successful ones in the banking channels. Uh, either, uh, I guess you can call it in the Medicare channels, depending if they're working with another agency or they're all on their own. And then you can also find it within the PNC industry, as in property and casualty industry. Now I say these three areas, are these three channels and industries because one, the banking industry, it's very supportive. A lot of a lot of bankers who act as financial planners, like within the bank, they rely upon the bank to give them clients. They are not used to going out and hunting to find their own. So as long as you can provide them clients, they will not leave you probably. They definitely won't become your competition on their own because they'd be trying to do something they've never done before. So that's why I really like the banking channel. The They also have really good relationships. You'll notice a trend here. All three of these have really strong relationships. Uh, the Medicare channel, again, those advisors are very used to transactional sales. They're not used to holistic financial planning, typically, typically. So um, that situation is if you're a Medicare-based advisor and that's all you do, that's your entire business, then you are used to going out and finding people for just that line of business. So I would be trying to hire someone who just does that line of business and find a way to complement their services. And in exchange, they'd be complementing mine. So that's where I'd be looking. Uh, the third place I said is property and casualty. Again, that's really for the big client base in general. Um, that would be my only real, like f- for me personally, that's my only really big advantage of hiring someone from that space. Other than they just, they're familiar with the industries uh, as in like the, the sales type industry. They're familiar with how, uh, you know, how to have those conversations with clients about what to protect, what not. Like they're, they're familiar with that. So I'd be looking for familiarity. So those are the three places I would look just to find some better advisors on a general basis. 